So in today's video, my friends, we're going to discuss what we can do with £30,000 in property. So first, if you save £30,000 up until this point, well done. Now, of course, we are all at different stages in our life. And what I would do with £30,000 today in property is far different to what I would have done five years ago or even 10 years ago when I first started investing. But nonetheless, I want to try and run through some things that maybe you guys can potentially do to help you at least consider what you should be doing next. Now, assuming we are looking at straightforward buy to lets where you put down 25% I'm going to run through a few things that I think you guys should at least know. And the first thing we need to look at is, of course, your budget. Now, assuming you've got that £30,000, with a buy to let, generally speaking, you put down 25% deposit, taking a 75% loan to value. Now, imagine you wanted to use all of that £30,000. You're probably thinking, well, I can buy something for 120 k right? Wrong. In fact, it's actually going to be a little less, my friends, because you have to factor in stuff like your stamp duty, your professional fees. So for the ease of this video, we're going to assume you have a maximum budget, my friends, of £110,000. Now, before someone says you can't find properties like that near me, that's okay. The next point is going to help you because we're going to be focusing on location as well. Sometimes you may just need to buy somewhere else. And I know I urge people to invest close to home because let's be honest, it's the place you know the best, it's the place you're most familiar with, and you're going to need less systems in place and outside management to run and look after it. However, if there's no properties in your current area, we need to venture out. So we're going to just do a quick exercise on my desktop. Okay, friends, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually choose Liverpool for this particular example. And one thing that I did make a slight mistake on is I said £110,000 would be our budget. However, if we just quickly look here with stamp duty, solicitor fees and stuff, it's going to take us slightly over the £30,000. So actually, what we're going to do is mix things up a little bit and we're going to look at £100,000. So I've chose Liverpool because one, I know that you can definitely get houses for that price there. And I also know the rental yields are pretty decent. So I'm going to look around a five mile radius. We're going to put £100,000 here. We want at least two bedroom houses. And I'm going to avoid flats and apartments just for this particular example, because that opens up another can of worms. Now, this is useful just for some research, just to kind of see like local comparables and stuff. But as we're looking for a straight buy to let, I'm going to ignore that just for now. And we're just going to look at finding properties. So friends, remember, if it's a featured property or a premium listing, generally speaking, somebody's paid a little bit for that to obviously have it as a top ranking thing. Almost think of like your Google ads and stuff. And when it normally says offers in excess, assume you will need to offer slightly more. However, that's not to say that you can't get it. And again, with guide prices, friends, remember that is an auction property. So the chances of you achieving that is not always guaranteed. Now, I do have a property plugin here that I've mentioned many times. Here it is. If you need it, Property Tools Browser Extension. What I would say is that the majority of the time that I've used it, it has been very accurate. However, you still want to double check your stuff and we will be doing that. So we're going to ignore the auction, premium listing. Again, I want to look for something that is ready to go. So we don't need to do any renovations or anything that's going to essentially cost us any sort of money. Okay, so it needs a little bit of work as well. What's this one saying? Um, so again, just looking for something where we can move our money from the bank, put it into an asset and potentially it's going to make you a lot more money. That is the weirdest kitchen I've ever seen, by the way. Uh, £100,000 landlords only to be sold with tenant in situ who has currently £6,000 rent, which is £500 per calendar month. OK, so probably don't want to be touching that. I mean, here it says the rent's more. Most likely the tenant is a long standing tenant and they've just probably wanted to keep them in there. OK, perfect. I'm going to just choose this one and I'll explain why a little bit later on, because what I want to do is show you how to find the sweet spot and to improve your deals straight away. So that will make more sense later on in the video. So make sure you stick around for that. So let's assume you get it for £100,000. Now, this we need to change, obviously, one, because of legislation and two, it's just not going to be cost effective for the tenant in there. You want to be viewing these as well, guys. But from obviously here, there's also a video there. I'm not going to play the video now. £100,000, pretty decent. This is showing us 650 will be the rent, which is again, pretty decent. And friends, remember, this is another tip as well. These are your estate agents. These are the people that you want to be speaking to here. Um, also, when you look at the rentals, it have the same thing here. And all you do is literally click that and it'll give you all their details. And that's how you can do further research, i.e. find out who the tenant demographics are or the types of people that sell. Now, straight away, I've noticed an issue here. I should have picked this up earlier, but I will leave it in here just so you, know, you guys can see that this is live leasehold. We want to avoid leaseholds just for now. So sorry about that one. We're going to have to leave that there. That's probably why it was cheap and it looked great. So quickly moving on. OK, so we're going to jump with this one now. So this is an end terrace. They're usually slightly bigger properties, freehold. It's also got a floor plan as well. So remember, guys, with £30,000, if you're in the right area and you do all your fire eggs and stuff, you can potentially, you know, something like this converted into a HMO. You've got bedroom one, two, three, 
and you'd essentially put a bedroom in these you'd need to make sure there's all fire doors interlink smoke alarms x y and z depending on the council and potentially you could rent these out per room but again we're just looking for a straight buy to let here just going to run through the, the photos again you want to be viewing these as well you can definitely spend a bit of money on this and i would highly recommend you know even just changing the carpets just freshening it up making it nice home for somebody there's definitely a couple of thousand pounds you can probably spend on that just to spruce it up and maybe achieve a higher rent. But for the purpose of this video, I just want to show you some of the analysis and some of the reasons I do what I do. So 675 is what they're saying. Now, what I would do here is obviously do a bit of research in terms of the stations, the amenities. You can check out the schools and stuff. These are really important stuff, especially if you spoke to, let's say you spoke to an agent and they said a lot of families are moving within these areas. You want to try and get it as close to the school perhaps as possible because you may be able to get yourself higher rents with that. And if somebody's watching this and you're from these areas, let me know in the comments, guys, are these areas that you would be investing into? Because again, I don't know Liverpool, how some of you will know it. Now, all I do is type the street and Liverpool and I type postcode into Google and it literally gives me the postcode. Now, there's many other ways you can do it. Sometimes you can download the EPC that might show it or there might be a brochure as well. Or I could have just used this here <laughs> where it is. But essentially, we're going to have a look at the rents now. So this is a three bedroom property, this postcode only. Now, initially, you want to try and stay as close as possible to that particular property. It's a house. This time, we're going to click this include let agreed. My friends, you've seen me do this a lot of times because this shows you what they're actually letting for. So nothing within that area. We're going to go a quarter of a mile out. OK, 650 for a terrace, three bedroom similar type of condition based on the photos 750 i don't think it's going to achieve 750 based on its work okay so we're going to be conservative just for the purpose of this video and to keep it short and we're going to call it 650 and assume we get it for let's say hundred thousand pounds okay friends so i've just opened up the deal analyzer here hundred thousand pounds for the purchase 650 here and again what i've done is i've changed the mortgage payments to 4.5 percent just because of what we're going through today we just have to be mindful obviously guys that interest rates are going up lenders are repricing so it's a completely different market to when i was going to do this video a few weeks ago so that's my fault because it's made my job a little bit harder and just very quickly what i'm going to do is i want to put seventy five thousand pounds into this calculator it's just a basic interest only calculator i've done 4.5 percent for the interest click calculate and it tells you that you're going to be paying 281 pounds 650 is what we're putting in 281 pounds it gives us 332 pounds and 10 pence now what i have done is left this as self-managed now generally when you have a letting agent it could be around 10 percent eight percent they normally charge vat as well so just be mindful of that as well and then essentially this would just give you your total acquisition cost which come just under 30 000 pounds total return per year is 3985 and then your roi is 13.46 so again is this a good deal would you guys take this deal or do you still feel you know, you can get yourself a slightly better one out there. That's entirely up to you. Whether it's a good deal or not is subjective. For some people, beating the bank is enough. For others, obviously, they want a lot more. Now, when I'm looking for a good deal, if I wanted to instantly try and beat that deal, this is what I would essentially do. I would go back to the results here, and I know that we're looking at rents of around 650. Then what I would try and do is just reduce this property price here. So this property price now, we're looking at £90,000. We're trying to save a little bit more money, and we're looking at three bedrooms so are there any three bedrooms going for ninety thousand pounds now we may find some we may not let's have a quick look and the reason i say this my friends is because you want to find where you can get the most rent for the cheapest type of property so offers in excess of 70 that's a premium one um, rents are showing a 650 that could potentially be one 850 here for ninety thousand. this is suitable for cash buyers only so when you see that generally speaking it could mean that they either want a quick sale there could be mortgageability problems. It could be a non-standard construction or there could be coal mines there. I mean, there's, there's a whole array of things that you need to essentially look at with that. Uh, this one says it's received properties, uh, sorry, offers above 85. So, you know, you might get this for £90,000. Let's just have a quick look at this one because it is interesting. Now, is it a project? It looks like it needs a bit of work. Yeah, it looks like you're going to have to spend a little bit of money. So essentially, it goes against what we were trying to say in terms of a straightforward buy to let. However, if the rents achieved 850 and i'm just going to double check this guy so for a three bed semi detached there's nothing coming up there okay so i'm not sure where it's got that information from it's probably gone a bit further out you want to be conscious guys the further out you go that you could just be going into a completely different area so this one is let agreed for 900 um looks in a better condition so maybe that 850 isn't too far off but i would assume that you'd want to do a little bit more research so let's just quickly scrap that for a second let's have a look Ninety thousand pounds come on we can definitely find i want to show you something else as well that when you see stuff like this where it's being reduced the chances are they're becoming more motivated or they've just listed it for more than what it was initially worth gain cash buyers be mindful for that 
Okay, let's have a look at this one. So this one doesn't look too bad. You can definitely probably rent this out. You'd, I'm assuming that's where the fridge goes. So that won't look as bad. Obviously, it does need a slightly updating, but let's just say it's in a decent area. It's freehold, it's three bedroom, central heating, double glazed. Your major costs, hopefully, if the electrics and the, the boiler's okay, you're not going to be hit with those. Now it's saying 700 here. So if we just use this postcode here, it's a hack I've just learned whilst recording this video. And um, we just have a look at the rents. Just going to make sure that we've cl clicked let agreed. 850. So this is saying 850 is what they're marketing it at, which is high. Now this is obviously saying 700. So potentially, friends, this could be, let's say we get this for 90,000. Let's say we offered slightly more. 90,000 and we're going to say 700 pounds rent. I'm assuming the postcode is better. So again, if you're from Liverpool, please do let me know in the comments down below so we can help other people out. Now, obviously, the mortgage is slightly less. So the mortgage is 67500 So we'll go back to our trusted mortgage calculator, 67500 And this should bring our mortgage down to 253 Fantastic. Let me open up our spreadsheet. So 253 So instantly, friends, our ROI has gone up by 2%. So that is a sweet spot. £90,000, if you can achieve rents of around 600, 650, you're on to a winner. And remember, friends, these are your letting agents and these are your estate agents that you want to be speaking to. These are the guys on the ground that are probably going to know the most in terms of the information. Of course, a desktop analysis is great. But once you find deals where you think, OK, there's something in that, that's where you want to be going out there and you want to be doing viewings. And then it is just a matter of being a numbers game. Now, just a few tips when it comes to buy to lets, my friends, just before we close this video, I always need you guys to think with the end in mind. We need to know who could be renting that particular property. We also need to account for voids and maintenance literally all the time. When you think it won't go wrong, it will, I promise you. Then we need to try and get recommendations for letting agents or tradesmen. And then finally, we need to consider speaking with a tax advisor or accountant about whether you should be buying in a limited company or not. And as always, my friends, I look forward to seeing you next time. And once again, thanks for watching.